What's your name? From where are you? What's your name? David. David. From where are you? Yeah, I live right here. Oh, shit. My cousin was about to buy a house up the street. Yeah? Yeah. It's a good neighborhood. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, man. It's real quiet at night. Quiet over this area? Yeah. Yeah, I just moved around, right around the corner from right here. Did you? Yeah. You married? Nah. No? Not yet. Is there any children? Nah. I got stepkid. Okay. Stepdaughter. I got three children and five grandchildren. Yeah. The oldest one is 18. 18? Yeah, he's six foot seven, 335 pounds. Wow. Plays football for Bloomsburg University. For real? Yeah, he got a full ride scholarship. How you think he? What do you think he'd say about his dad? What do you think he'd talk about dad? He's my grandson. Oh, your grandson goes to. Um, yeah, my grandson. Oh, goes to um, college? Yeah. I played huh. I played football for Valley West. Oh, for Valley West? Mm -hmm. Oh. Then I went in the Navy. Yeah, my daughter goes there. Yeah? Let me inform you on something. I'm sorry? You here to meet anybody? Am I here to meet anybody? Anybody here to meet you? No. You sure about that? Yeah. Let me inform you on something. I'm sorry? Let me inform you on something. The person you was talking to was me the whole time. Okay. So, like I said, are you here to meet somebody here to meet you? No. That was my stepdaughter. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. I intercepted. Why, why would she contact me? Why would she? She contacted you? Yeah. How old did she tell she was? She told me she was 15. She said she was 15. So why would you invite her to your house? I just wanted to say hello to her. You want to say hello? So you just you just randomly um, tell um, underage let me, kids. Let me tell you something. Already tell me. Young girls uh -huh. should not talk to older men. All right, then. So why didn't you tell her that? I told her. I said, she said, well, she didn't talk to me. Yeah. She was texting Yeah, she was texting you. And um, she said she was um, doing her schoolwork. She said she was on doing cyber. Cyber. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Listen, why didn't you tell us um, sorry. why she... You sorry? I'm very sorry. Are you married? No. I'm divorced. You're divorced? Yeah. This is this is bullshit. Yeah, it is. This is fucked up. Yeah, it is. Can you keep your hands where I can see them? Like, this is fucked up. Yeah, it is. How old are you? I'm 61. You're 61 years old. You brought me out of retirement. I brought you out of retirement? Yeah, you brought me out of retirement. I retired for one week. You brought me out of retirement for one week. Really? Yeah. Dang, you, you need to sit down or something? No, I'm all right shaking and shit. Yeah, well... I'm not here to harm you. I know. I'm not here to physically hurt you. Let me you. ask you a question. What's up? Why would she... It was me the whole time. Oh. It was me. Why Why did you do that? Why would I do what? Once I told you the age, what was your, What should have been your next response? Leave me alone. All right. And what, what was your response? What you, what you saying, leave me alone? I said I'm too old for you. You said, yeah, you're too old, yeah. But you kept the conversation going and everything like this, but I'm still getting to come right here. If that was it, cut cut clear like that, I wouldn't be here right now. It's crazy. It is. You're, you was in the um, Navy before? Yes, sir. Yeah? That's dishonorable, man. What's that? That's dishonorable. I didn't have a dishonorable discharge. This is dishonorable. Yes, it is. If, what if this was one of your, you have daughters? Yes. What if this was one of your daughters? It was somebody that's 61 years old, invited be, her to your house. I'd be very upset. I'd be very upset. How old is your kids? Well, I have a daughter that's 38. 38. a daughter that's 37. They local? No. No? And I have a son that's uh, 31. 31? You want to call one of them for me? Yeah. You got a weapon to die, right? You got no weapons or anything, right? No. Making sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, your phone right here. Am I under arrest? I'm not, I'm not a cop to arrest you. Uh -huh. But what I do, I do work with, I, I do frequently talk to the police. I have plenty of people that got arrested by me. About, for what I do. Let me... It's crazy, Dave.
Which one you calling? My son. You calling the son? Speaker phone. I need you to put it on speaker. Okay. Sure. What, what would your son think about you, Mr. Coleman? He'd be very mad. Very mad. Try your daughter. You are All right, hang up, hang up. I don't want, I don't want to hear the, uh, the number. I was retired for one week. One week. You make the 441st person I'm coming out for. That's tr that's a lot of numbers, right? Yeah. It's a lot of people that's willing to um, meet I up with her. I would never do anything to her. You I meeting up? Well, you I meeting up with her? I would, her. Not, I would never them. touch her. You'll never touch her or anything no, like that. Never, All right, never yeah. do that. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm not that kind of guy. All right. I'm here right now. All right, you can hang up. Let's try to call right back. Then yeah, what he knows a mercy. Let me call Jamie. This is fucking Kingston, man. You know Kingston don't play this shit, man. What's that? They don't play that shit with, with little no, kids. No. They don't play that. They arrest people for this shit, man. I understand. What are you calling now? My daughter, Jamie. Oh, your daughter, your name. It's fucked up. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Should I leave her a message? Five, seven, mm. zero, five. This is fucked up. Call your son back. You from Kingston? Yeah, I grew up in Kingston and I lived in Dallas and yeah. I lived at Harvey's Lake. Yeah, I know the area. Yeah, what's up? Hey, Tyler. What's up? Let him know what's going on. Well, I did something stupid. What? I talked to this young girl online. How old? She's 15 yeah. years old. 15 years old. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. What'd he say? I can't hear you. Where are you? And it's home. Your phone on a Wi Fi or something? Hello? Hello? Yeah, they call me the Luzerne County Predator Catcher. And what I do is I go on these these social media dating sites, um, so, any social media accounts, and I go up there and I pose as an underage kid. Mm -hmm. And today I pose as an underage female. And um, your father here one, um, invited what he believed to be a 15 year old girl to his house. Okay. As to talking like sexual and everything like this. My dad is, he's mentally ill. He's mentally ill? That, so that made him um, man. make the decision of um, having um, a 15-year-old. He know that is is wrong to have a 15-year-old come okay. to his house and everything like this. So he can't be so that mentally why? wrong that, that he don't know what's going on. I mean, the guy's been... The guy's been, uh, hospitalized. Uh-huh. A lot. What's going on here? They call me the Luzerne County Predator Catcher. I know, but why are you in my dad's house and what's happening here? Are you arresting my father? I'm not a cop to arrest him. But what I have police that, that, that watch what I do. So what is happening here? I'm confronting him. I'm, I'm confronting him on, on what, what, why would he be having an um, a underage kid come to his house? It's, it's very concerning. This could be like, um, my daughter or something like this. I agree, this is concerning. Like, if he's like, if he's like messed up in the head and whatever like this, like, I would think that he would need like some, um, evaluation or something like that. He, he's 
he's been bipolar and has mental evaluations for the last 40 years. Yeah, like I'm saying, like, because... Because if, if this type of behavior, if the mentalness, is, is, it carries this type of behavior, uh, I don't know what to say. Okay, so I'm going to call the VA, and they're going to take him in for psychiatric evaluation again. And, um, yeah, because this is concerning. Uh, it's extremely concerning. You're at my father's house right now? Yeah, I'm right up on, on the front of the porch. to continue I'm going to call the poli- I'm going to call his, his doctor and they'll, they'll probably take him in tonight and uh, they'll lock him up for three for however many days and 72 hour time. watch they're going to put him on a 72 hour no, watch more, more than that trust me alright last time he was in there for 45 days trust me so alright listen uh-huh. I'm my sister right now yeah he I try, to, I try to get him to call somebody he, he try to get him called you or your sister your sister didn't answer the phone. Alright. I'm going to call my sister right now. Um, I'll call you right back. Alright. This is very concerning, man. You would, you would want to hurt somebody if this was one of your kids, man. You understand that? If this was one of your kids, what what'd you think the, the consequences? What you think should happen to the person that, that did this to you? That, that, that invited I, one of your kids over? I wasn't going to do nothing. That ain't what I asked. I said, what would you want? To, what would you want the consequences to be if this was your daughter? That somebody that was 61 years old that that talks sexual today and everything. She off the, off, all right, it doesn't matter. You're the grown up. You're the grown up. The grown up is the moral, the one that that can be charged for this, not the child. You. But I didn't do nothing. Did you talk sexual? Talk sexual to Did me. you speak sexual to this kid? Yes. Yes, right? After knowing the age. Yes. Yes. That's a problem. And then I asked if, the, if, if she was a cop. Yeah, you asked her was she a cop. She said, no, I'm not a cop. Even if I was a cop, I, I can still say no. Because I thought that somebody no. was trying to run a scam on me. Run a scam? What type of scam? I don't know. They're trying to get me in trouble. So trying to get you in trouble? Was, you got like yourself. You would get yourself in trouble because once the age is um, brought the, up to you and everything, and you continue the conversation, that's on you now. Anything before the age, that's that, that's nothing. But once the age is dropped and you know the age and you continue to talk, then can then set up the um the meet, the give them your address and everything for them to come here to walk right around the corner to you. The first thing you say, like, yo, you you're really close. I, I'm right around the corner from here. I'm not far from here. Nothing would ever happen. I would never harm a young girl. You would never I would, harm her? Uh, I would never touch her. I would never do nothing to her. So, but talk, but talk sexual? That was a mistake. That was a mistake? That was a conscious decision? Yeah. It wasn't a mistake. You knew, you knew, you knew right from wrong. You knew it was wrong what you was doing. That you knew that you would want to strangle somebody if it if it was your kid. No, I would never kill anybody. I say you would want to strangle them. I ain't say I would kill. Never strangle Man, you want you you want them to go to jail or something. If this was your kid, I would want them to get help. You want them to get some help. If they talk like that to your kid and everything, if you if if if. One of your kids, it just popped up. Then some, and the police came up and caught the guy that was um, messaging your kid with with these same type of messages. You be like, oh, I want them to get some help. Yeah. Like, no, I want them under the fucking jail, where away from motherfucking other kids. That's what I would want. I would want. I wouldn't want them around no more kids. I want them under the jail for that. I have four kids myself. And I would hurt somebody if it was really one of my kids, man. It's just unacceptable as hell, man. This is crazy, it's ridiculous. Well, I'm bipolar. You for a bit for a U.S. Navy man, man. I'm bipolar. Bipolar? You can't use that excuse. It's not Bi- an what's, excuse. What's, what bipolar is? What's the what's the symptoms of bipolar? Well, give me give me the symptoms of bipolar. First of all, mood swings. You get extreme mood swings. Extreme mood swings. You get angry. Angry. You cuss a lot. Cuss a lot. 
you um, get horny. You get horny. You overly, use a lighter. Overly horny. You light. Um, you get severely depressed to Sorry. where you want to commit suicide. I try to commit suicide. I understand. My sister was bipolar. What's the other symptoms? She died. Symptoms of bipolar, like. Well. Well, you know, all the ones that you just named, none of them said pedophilia. No. None of them was like. No. So it, it, it doesn't like bipolarness um, can, it interacts with somebody being. Um, I'm not a pedophile. You talk dirty to a to an underage kid. I didn't talk to him. Did you? You conversated sexually with an underage kid. You you understand that? The magnitude of that. You talk dirty to an underage kid. It's not light or anything like that. You, you, you talk dirty to an underage kid. Even that you say you, 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 your intent was not to, uh, when they came over here not to do anything or anything no, like that. But I was just gonna but, talk to her. I wasn't gonna let her in the house. Was gonna let him in the house? No. Just gonna. No. That's why I'm sitting on the porch. I wasn't gonna let her in. Oh. I would never do that. It's not right. Why even invite him? Well, she said she wanted to come over. She said she wanted to come over for what? What? For what? For what? To come over for what? Here's Tyler. Hello? What's that? I'm going to call the police. Stay where you're at, okay? He can call the police. You're going to call the police? Yes. He can call them. Why? Let him, I want to go to the VA. Let him call. They're going to take you to the VA? You can call it. He he can call it. Like they take you to the VA. All right. You know, like you really need some help. For like for for what you're doing. Like yeah. I would think like you need some, like where they can take you there. You don't think so? If you have these type of feelings, need, like of uh, uh, talking need, to an underage kid. To to this is crazy, right? Thank this God could be. This could have been God your kid. VA. This could have been your kid. Yeah. Your grandkid. How old is your grands? I have a grandson that's 18. I have 18. a granddaughter that's 10. You have grandkids. Have grandson you have grandkids that's, that's younger than this kid. And I have a grandson that's three and a half, and I have a grandson that's one and a half. You have grandkids that's older than this kid. Yeah. That's bad. So what, what does it say that uh, when, when one of your grandkids come over here or come see you, like if they was with, 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 with their friends or something, that you won't be looking at one of their friends that in a sexual type way? But you looked at this female in, in a sexual type way. You seen them in a sexual way. You seen them in a sexual way. So what makes it saying that, that you won't see one of your grandkids friends or your one of your grandkids in a sexual way i knew it was some kind of a thing I, if I you knew, knew all that and everything it. why can't why keep going i don't know i was stupid shit is crazy i'm shocked because you're local i i rarely catch somebody local rarely ever anymore but i've been using new apps not the regular ones Hello? Yeah, don't worry. Just stay in your house. I got this, okay? Tell me he's not in no harm, in, in no harm's way or anything like that. Like, I'm not here to hurt him or anything like that. I'm only here for awareness. Hey. Sir. Yes, sir. No, who's at, who's at the house right now? It's just me and him right now, sitting right here. All right, I advise you, the police are coming to step out of the house. I'm not in his house. I'm not in the house. I'm outside. All right, we can do this. I just wait out front. All right.
crazy, man. He made it seem like I'm here to hurt you or something. Yeah, like I'm not it. here to. Uh, like I'm more than cordial and everything. Doing your job. Yes. Like I'm not here for anything else. Not here for, for fucking um, violence or anything like this. Trying to, trying to belittle you or anything like this. I'm trying to get to, down to the bottom of like why would what would be clicking into my head like before making that decision. Like yeah, come to my house. Yeah, you can come or giving or dropping an address. You know, that's all I'm saying. You make the the second per, the second Navy man that I'm catching, second one. First one was about like a couple of years ago, like two years ago. I caught the first one. They had NCS NCSI came all the way out here and everything for that guy. Because he was still active. Active lieutenant. Lieutenant? Yeah. Wow. Navy lieutenant. Commanded people underneath him and everything that was willing to, to, to have sex with a, a 15 year old kid. It's bad. These people that we the trust. He was going to have sex with her? It was the he. He What's wanted that? to have sex with him. him. Really? Yeah. Oh. Same type of sexual type of conversation and everything. You know how many times I heard. I didn't want to have sex. You know how many times I heard that one that uh, once I popped up and they'd be like, um, "No, I, I didn't really want to have sex. I, we would never went in my house. We would have never did this." Yeah, 441 people. You know how many times I heard that? 441 people. Yeah, you make the 441st person. Wow. Yeah, I caught three last week. Well, four of them last week. Took off Saturday, Sunday. Then I said I was going to retire. I said, no, nah, i just stick to local. i catch some local people. Maybe some local people will want to come out. And My family here. is going to be very upset. Yeah, this is upsetting. How do you think that, that if, if I was a child, how do you think their family would feel? Very upset too, right? Yeah. I know you would be upset if it was your family. Like any other father. You have grands around the same age as this kid. Grandkids. Not kids, grandkids. Another generation. He calling the police or what is he doing? Well, they're probably busy. No, they're not that busy. They'll probably pop right around. They're, it's only like police another block, right another block over, one block over the police station. <laughs> I'm shocked that you ain't think it was one of them that was coming around here. See, the whole time when I was walking up the street, I'm watching the walk when I'm walking. I'm like, yeah, that must be him right there. That, that's around like that number, that address he gave me. So when I walked past, he looked a little different. Then I turned back. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's him. Oh uh, yeah, strike up a little conversation, get a little friendly, a little cordial conversation. Show you that I'm not I'm here for balance. Enough. I like to talk to people. Yeah. What about kids? It should be. That's right. It shouldn't be kids, though. No. You can talk to people who like kids. That's, that's basura. Bad. Right. It's trash, man. I don't know what he's doing. If he call it, what is he doing? It's crazy. Got 99 problems. But messing with kids ain't one. <laughs> but talking to underages is not one. That'd never be my fucking problem. Penn State. Nitty Lions. I caught somebody. I caught a Penn State professor. Really? Yeah. I caught one of their teachers, one of their professors. When I first started doing this. He's, um, he done got fired. I'm 
sure. Yeah, he got fired indefinitely. He was my 10th person I caught. Father was the mayor of DuPont. What a way to um, represent his father. Or his kids. He had kids the same age as the kid that he was coming for. Yeah, I was a dental technician. I used huh? to work in all surgery. What'd you say? I was a dental technician. Oh, yeah. I used to work in all surgery. Oh, uh, oral, oral surgeon? I'm not an oral surgeon. No, I worked in oral surgery. Oh. I was an oral surgery assistant. Oh, the assistant. Like a dentist assistant. Yeah. Did he call him? Yeah, I'm just... sure he did. There's a fire going on somewhere. He must be tied up. Uh -huh. I don't know how many officers they have on duty this time of day. Probably but... about like three, three, four. Yeah, so they probably be a while. They know who I am. I'm sure they the do. The whole town know who I am. Yeah. That's all I'm shocked that you don't know who I am. I know now. Yeah. LC predator catcher. I do go around, see who want to prey on little kids, or willing to meet up with them, anything, without they they parents' permission. Oh damn. What the hell? Did he really call, him? or was he trying to scare me off? No, Tyler wouldn't do that. He's, he, um, Stand up. Yes, he is. Very smart boy. That's good. All my kids went to college. That's a good thing. My daughter Amanda went to Susquehanna University. She played field hockey. She got in trouble while she was in school. Yeah, most kids do. Yeah, she Some was just in a don't bar, get caught. underage drinking, and uh, she was snorting cocaine. Oh, man. She was walking back to the sorority house. She went in the wrong house, fell asleep on the couch. Oh, man. They called, they called the cops. Yeah. She got a year's probation and community service. All right. Fucking ridiculous, man. I thought I was tired of coming out. I guess I'm not tired yet. How old are you? 43. 43. Yeah. Still working. And I, this is my work. This is my work. Got to show my kids something to be proud of. You know? Not showing the old me, showing the new me. A, a good version. Did you ever get in trouble? Absolutely. I've been to prison and everything. Really? Yeah. I know what like some like when people that come in there with these type of charges, that's not good. They're going straight to protective custody and everything. They automatically put you in protective custody. Because they know what general population would do to people like with these type of charges. So they try to protect you. And I have to and I have to put the bill for it. For the protection, the rent every month, the food every month that they gotta eat. I gotta pay for that. It's fucked up. Should make them pay their own pay, pay their own way. You gotta pay for your food. You ain't got no food. I guess you're gonna starve to death. So you're gonna work for that, that little um that little twenty five cents a day, three dollars a day, stuff like that. Dollar thirty a day. That's how you eat. So I'm letting the taxpayers foot the bill for it. You wanna you wanna um, break the law? You gotta pay for it. Not only with time, but through your pockets too. You might want to stop. It might stop people from doing certain stuff because they have to really pay for it, and not like the taxpayers have to pay for it. I'm just here for awareness, educational, like that. It should be going off. Call. If he call him, I'll stay for a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to leave once they once they they come and they be trying to look for me, even though they know where I live at and everything. They, I'm always in court for well, people that I don't court. You got a court. I got court. 
This one. Oh, that wasn't them. Thought it was. Then you gotta come right around the corner. Damn. Fucked up, David. I, you look like somebody I know. I'm trying to think who the fuck you look like. You're like one of the guys from, um, Deadliest Catch. Let me see something. Uh, damn. They coming or not? I don't I wasn't feel like calling them yet. But they take all day. They'll be here. Just call. I need a I need a light. I need an L C P C light. You know like the Batman light? This is L C P C Yeah, it's gonna be the L C P signal. So they shine it up in the light. So I just shine it every time I catch somebody. Shove over this way. Yeah. You know? Spotlight right here. Here I go. Here they go right here. How you doing, man? What's going on? I know. What's up? Hey, trying to meet up with a um, 15 year old. Okay. How you doing, sir? Austin Karashinsky. Yeah, I got every, yeah, I got everything. Everything's um, all straight. Do you already have like a meeting or anything set up, or do you want? I got, got some. Help? I'm gonna send it right to him. Send it right to him. Yeah, he's about to go around here to give y'all um, a statement. Then okay. I just send everything to him. You're gonna send it to Steve already? To Steve? No, the um, Detective Gibbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't never knew his first name. <laughs> I said a lot, because I'm live. I want everybody to know which one of them, the new apps I got. Shot him catching the local. I just started talking to him today. That was his son that called y'all. Yeah, his son called y'all. Absolutely. Yo, y'all see what it is. Peace and PD. Y'all feel me? Another one bites the dust. Nice bird. Mm. Brought me out of retirement, baby. He brought me out of retirement. He brought me out of retirement. I retired for one week. <laughs> and retirement sucks. I can't retire, man. I love it too much. I love doing this too much. You feel me? You gotta love it. I love it. Love doing this, man. Make sure y'all share this video. Make sure y'all share. Make make sure y'all share. You feel me? That's a local local automotive, man. Local. You feel me, guys? What y'all feel? Y'all feel me? You feel me? I couldn't retire yet. Retire? That's like, you know, playoffs. What? Retire? It's not in my bloodline, man. 
I try, but it's not, it's not, it's not in the bloodline, man. To quit, I'm not a quitter. I'm not a quitter. Only thing I quit was hanging out in the streets. Only thing I quit, hanging in the streets. Oh, that's right. I gotta go up another block. <laughs> I'm over too much. I gotta go over. You feel me? Well, I'm about to end this live, though, man. I'm about to end this live, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that one, man. Hope y'all enjoyed that, man. You feel me? I got to say this video right here. Go upload it to um, YouTube. The old YouTube the doop doop doop. The YouTube the doop doop doops. You feel me? I gave I gave my live to to my, my number one. My number one people, you know what I mean? That went from the start. I'm back at where, where, where we started at. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now we here. You feel me? I'm coming back to I'm coming back where I from from my roots. Coming back to the roots, man. Facebook. Facebook is the roots of that started me. Facebook. You feel me? Gotta catch them all. Pedal months. Pedal pedal months. Pedal pedal months. Alright guys, I gotta end this live now. Too much talking. Peace out.